I am an engineer today because of my father. He was what you might call an engineer's engineer. My father had a master's degree in aeronautical engineering, but he was as practical as they come. He grew up in a family that was obsessed with cars, and he was never happier than when he had taken an engine apart and was solving a problem, grease under his fingernails. Like most engineers, my father was profoundly intellectually curious. He found great joy in designing and building things and fixing things and in making them better. And with that came a deep sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. People like my father, engineers, have influenced and shaped our world in good times and in bad. From Imhotep and the building of the Egyptian Steppe Pyramid in Saqqara, to Da Vinci's designs for a helicopter, to Edison and his thousand plus patents, and to you, as you pursue your passion for creating new and faster and safer and better products. That curiosity, that sense of wonder and exploration is exactly what the world needs today. We need people like you who will take broad ideas and make them real. We need someone who's going to sweat the details to ensure that products work exactly as advertised, or perhaps even better. When the world largely shut down because of the COVID-19 pandemic, engineers kept working. You kept working. You never stopped innovating. You never stopped creating. You never stopped problem solving. And you've done it under difficult conditions. Most of you haven't been able to work in your offices. Instead, your home has become your new lab. Your spare bedroom or your living room has been transformed into your center of excellence for innovation. Computing resources may be limited, and you can't ask your colleague in the next cube for advice. And yet, you have continued to drive innovation. Look at the Space 2.0 sector and its many successful missions over the last year. Look at the last 12 months of advances in electrification with next generation batteries ushering in a new wave of products. Look at how quickly a COVID-19 vaccine was safely delivered to healthcare professionals who are administering life-saving shots. These innovations have been driven in part by simulation. Simulation is a key enabler for engineers. In fact, I've said that simulation is our superpower. With simulation, we can see and we can understand why things work or don't work in the real world. It's like being able to see inside a product and instantly grasp the physics behind it. Simulation helps organizations drive both top-line revenue growth and achieve significant cost savings simultaneously. Simulation empowers you to be more productive than ever to engineer what's ahead. For years, organizations like Red Bull Racing have relied on the superpower of simulation to provide an edge. In the highly competitive world of Formula One, Red Bull Racing's engineering team operates within a tight development window to optimize its race car aerodynamics and shave milliseconds off lap times. With only a few days between competitions, simulation becomes the team's virtual wind tunnel to run extended aerodynamic analyses. Simulation is also key to developing the chassis cooling circuits, in selecting the right materials, and in ensuring driver safety through virtual crash analyses. Space 2.0 startup Relativity redefined the way we think about launching satellites into orbit. To save time and money, the company prints its rockets. That's right, they print their rockets. After all, a rocket made of hundreds of parts that are created through additive manufacturing is significantly more effective and inherently less expensive than one assembled from thousands and thousands of separate components. Additive manufacturing significantly streamlines assembly, makes the end-to-end -end supply chain much simpler and more seamless. Simulation is playing a key role in optimizing material flows during the 3D printing process and in augmenting the rocket engine's efficiency as well as its strength and structural stability. Innovations like these have made a difference. Your work has carried your organization through difficult times. Your work has propelled the global economy. And now, your work will propel an economic recovery. And that's where we are today. Now, the pandemic, of course, is not over. And certain regions are more heavily impacted than others. But with the ramp up in vaccine production and the increase in government stimulus spending, there is renewed optimism about the future. 
In fact, some economists are saying that we're standing on the precipice of a major economic recovery. People want to travel again. There's pent-up demand for mobile devices and other gadgets. Automakers literally cannot produce enough vehicles for consumers who want to hit the road again. And you, the engineers, you will be responsible for designing, developing, and delivering all of these products to a hungry public. You will create amazing vehicles that are powered by electricity. You will bring to life new communication devices that today only exist in someone's imagination. And you will help design our smart factory networks, powered by the industrial Internet of Things. You will change the face of mobility thanks to vehicles that drive themselves. And you will do all of these things. You will do all of these things with the superpower that is simulation. Simulation is driving the electrification of vehicles. It was only a few short months ago when softening demand and worker safety concerns caused by COVID-19 had forced manufacturers to shut down factories and cut budgets. But Volkswagen, General Motors, Honda, and other automakers continued their investments in R&D, especially in next generation technologies such as electrification. And now, those investments are paying off in new products that consumers are craving. For example, GM is using advanced digital technologies including simulation, to develop its all-electric Hummer. And in doing so, the automaker has slashed vehicle development time from five years to two, and has cut development costs by a whopping $1.5 billion. And it's not just large multinational corporations with deep pockets. Later today, you'll hear from Peter Rawlinson, the CEO of Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors sought to develop a high-end electric car from scratch. And as a startup, Lucid could adopt best practices without being hindered by legacy methods. The company could take advantage of technologies like simulation from the onset and develop products entirely on a computer without the need for physical prototypes. Lucid achieved its goals of creating a battery that will run for 400 miles on a single charge while providing enough horsepower to propel the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. And in the process, the company addressed key customer needs, solved difficult engineering problems, and brought a world-class vehicle to market in a fraction of the time required by conventional approaches. Electrification, of course, is not limited to ground vehicles. Simulation-led breakthroughs and battery technologies are empowering all electric aircraft. Later today, you'll hear from Jeff Zoltman, the CEO of Air Race E, which is sponsoring a series of international racing competitions for electric aircraft. Air Race E teams are using simulation to develop batteries that deliver more power with less weight, as well as designing electric powertrains that overcome difficult thermal and high voltage challenges. The lessons learned from these races will advance the development and adoption of electrification for commercial aircraft. And as we begin the transition to the electric aircraft of tomorrow, the aerospace sector is investing in more eco-friendly engines for use today. Over the past year, Despite the downturn in commercial aviation, a number of aerospace companies have turned to simulation for their green initiatives. These organizations are employing simulation to avoid overdesign, to improve engine efficiency, to reduce engine weight. These challenges are not simply single physics problems. Aerospace companies worry about a variety of phenomena, including aeromechanics, fluid structure interactions, conjugate heat transfer modeling, and so on. This requires market-leading capabilities in fluids, in structures, in thermal, and in electromagnetics. It requires true coupled multiphysics operating at scale. Honeywell, for example, is using the superpower of simulation when developing its aircraft engines. The company is automating its engineering workflows to maximize operational efficiency and drive process improvements. And as a result, Honeywell will benefit from product-wide traceability and reusability while significantly cutting development cycle times. Simulation is also instrumental in bringing 5G networks and devices to life. Now, while we're in the early stages of the 5G rollout, there are exciting opportunities ahead of us. These advanced communication systems will deliver new entertainment experiences. They will revolutionize healthcare. They will serve as the backbone of autonomous mobility, and they will unlock the potential for businesses and services that we can't even imagine today. 
To make these a reality, the limits of electronics are being pushed to unprecedented levels. Engineers are being challenged to innovate across every aspect of communications, from speed and throughput to device design. They're relying on ANSYS to bring together the best thermal, mechanical, electromagnetic, photonic, and reliability capabilities to deliver a multi-physics solution that can scale from silicon to an entire city. And with our acquisition of AGI, we can now scale even into space. During simulation world, you can learn more about recent advances in our gold standard ANSYS HFSS, which are redefining the possibilities in scale and turnaround time for full wave electromagnetic sign off in today's chip, package, and PCB design challenges. 3D ICs blur the lines between silicon and systems, and the accuracy of ANSYS flagship products provide companies with the most powerful, the most accurate multi-physics platform for thermal, power, and signal integrity, as well as for electronics reliability. This solution has been certified by leading foundries, including TSMC and Samsung. Customers around the world are using ANSYS simulation technologies to bring 5G innovations to life. Later, you'll hear Nokia talk about modeling 5G telecommunications base station antennas, which incorporate eco-friendly antenna systems design made possible through simulation. We've also built a strategic partnership with Synopsys, which is enabling engineers to tackle 3D IC design challenges. The collaborative solution brings together industry-leading IC solutions from Synopsys with ANSYS's highly accurate signal, thermal, and power data analyses for sign-off. Our unified, customer-driven approach empowers designers to rapidly analyze the impact of any change in chip design, enabling faster time to market, and greater accuracy. The benefits of simulation-led next-generation connectivity go beyond consumer products like mobile phones and automobiles and into those factories where the products are being manufactured. Factories themselves are becoming transformed and becoming part of national and global networks through the power of the industrial Internet of Things. And because these factories can communicate with each other, workers can troubleshoot an issue at one plant with data from another. ANSYS partner Rockwell Automation has been instrumental in helping organizations optimize factory operations, saving money by using insights from simulation to reduce unplanned downtime, and enabling engineers to test virtual what-if scenarios without disrupting physical assets. But on a more fundamental level, ANSYS and Rockwell Automation are helping companies solve problems such as unpredictable downtime, quality issues during assembly, and launch delays Challenges, frankly, that have existed for decades. Rockwell Automation CEO Blake Moret will discuss some of these topics in our leadership track in just a few minutes. During simulation world, you can also benefit from an entire track dedicated to autonomy. Given the sophistication, the complexity, and the safety-critical nature of autonomous vehicles, it is clear that they can only be developed with the extensive use of simulation to help to spur additional innovation in this emerging field, ANSYS recently introduced the industry's first real-time, physics-based radar sensor capability to help developers realize algorithmic and hardware acceleration breakthroughs that are considerably faster than previous implementations. These advances are critical for autonomous vehicles, which need to gather data in real-time to make instant decisions around direction and speed. Now, when exactly an autonomous vehicle will whisk us away on our destination, is not, a, is not yet clear, but the simulation field path to autonomy is today delivering real improvements in vehicle safety, instrumentation, and efficiency. ANSYS is working with BMW to create what we believe to be the industry's first holistic simulation tool chain for developing autonomous vehicle technologies. The tool chain will optimize valuable test data by providing a development framework around rigorous safety planning, efficient test space exploration, and data analytics in a virtual driving environment. Using this solution, the company expects to launch its highly automated BMW iX SUV. Now, over the course of simulation world, you will hear from many industry leaders, like BMW, like Lucid Motors, like Nokia. And you'll learn about the amazing products that are created by using true multi-physics simulation. 
You'll also hear from PTC, one of our key strategic partners. PTC has embedded ANSYS Live technology within its flagship CAD product, Creo, to enable designers to iterate faster with near instantaneous simulation results. PTC also launched Creo ANSYS simulation in late 2020, which includes a subset of our high fidelity solvers and a more seamless workflow between designers and analysts. Simulation World will also give you the opportunity to learn more about the key role simulation is playing in automatically generating safety certified embedded software and functional safety analysis. You'll also learn about our open environment for optimization, our simulation data and process management offerings, and our workflow customizations. And you'll get insight into our cloud offerings from Microsoft, another strategic partner. ANSYS Cloud integrates Microsoft Azure Cloud and HPC services with ANSYS flagship simulation technologies. With their existing ANSYS licenses, users can leverage Azure to reduce modeling runtimes by increasing cores per job. And that makes it easier for larger corporations that have traditionally leveraged on-premises HPC to migrate to ANSYS Cloud, equipping teams with extra capacity during peak usage. So I encourage you to attend as many sessions as possible during the next two days. Ask questions. Challenge assumptions, and then bring what you have learned back to your organizations and take advantage of this amazing opportunity that lies ahead of us. My father passed away over 30 years ago, and he didn't have access to the advanced capabilities that we have today. And of course, the great engineers of the past could not take advantage of simulation's benefits. Imagine what da Vinci could have done with the superpower of simulation. How high would Imhotep's pyramids have been? How many more patents would Edison have to his name? For you, though, it's different. You have simulation. And over the last year, you have created new products that are changing the face of entire industries. You have seized upon a disruption to advance the state of the art thanks to the superpower that is simulation. With simulation at your fingertips, you hold our future in your hands. So drive innovation in your organizations. Drive innovation for our world and engineer what's ahead.